In order to see the imprint of the hair in the nail polish, you want to put your microscope on the lowest power first. And then, you know, there's uh, one side of the slide. There's the other side of my slide. You want to kind of look around until you see that line in the middle where that was where your hair was. Now we've pulled out the hair since the nail polish dried. And then what we do is we focus it. Right now mine's focused. And then we go to the strongest power, or the next strongest power, which is 100. Refocus it. Once you think it's clear. Right about there. And then go in again to the strongest power, which is 400 power. It says 40 on the lens, but actually 40 times 10. And then we want to move that around. There it is there. And I'm going to do a focus on that with my fine focus. And there you see the imprint of the hair. Zoom in and out. You can see where the hair has been, has been wrapped around by the nail polish. And you can see the skin or the cuticle outline of the hair. And what you want to do is once you get that, use your camera to take a good picture of that. Let me see if I can zoom in here and adjust it. There we go. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? That is um, the cuticle of hair, and it's made of human skin cells. I'll zoom in even more. Look at that. You can identify individual skin cells there. And I will do more fine focus. Look at that. You can see three-dimensional. And those are the tracks left by the hair cuticles, the outside of the hair, in the nail polish and that's what you draw